few weeks ago I downloaded Adobe Photoshop and one of my favorite things about this tool is that you can edit videos in a photo editor. Today we're going to be taking a look at chroma keying or removing green screens from videos. A lot of people say this is impossible in the Photoshop timeline but with some simple knowledge of adjustment layers and blend modes and blend if we can do this pretty easily. Let me show you how. So let's make a new document real quick. It's 1920 by 1080 pixels standard for videos. And I'll get rid of these guides. So I'll create a video timeline by first of all opening the timeline panel at the bottom using window and timeline. Then I'll press create video timeline down here. And now what I can do is drop in a video, like uh, if I open a smart object, this is a green screen video I downloaded. I'll share the link in the description. Now what I can do is copy this video and paste it into this document. So since we have this timeline open, we can watch the video and uh, I'll make sure the background layer is the right length. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this video for backup and then hide it and taking this bottom video layer, I'll add a selective color adjustment layer and clip it to the video. Now what I want to do is make the background, the green background white. So I'll come to the greens channel and then reduce the black all the way so that way the background is white. Then I'll select these two layers. And then group them. and maybe I'll call this group white background. And control J to duplicate that group. Now we're gonna call this one black background. Now what I'm gonna do here is open that selective color adjustment layer. And instead of making the green background white, I'll make it black by boosting up the black all the way and you have to change the mode to absolute. Now what I can do is set the blend mode of the black background group. Sorry, I'll name it right. The black background group, you can set the blend mode to difference. And you'll see it'll find the different areas between the white background and the black background. So that part is gonna be white, whereas the parts that are the same are black. So what we've essentially done is made all of the green areas white and the non-green areas black. And I'll invert that real quick just to make it more intuitive. Now if I select everything from the invert to the white background, the, sorry, the white background, I can group this, set its blend mode to normal. And let's call this mask. And with blend if, I can take out the, uh, the black areas. So using this slider, I'll just push it over here. So you'll see that we just have white on transparent. If you try to clip a layer to a layer with blend if, the transparency won't, um, won't be affected by the blend if. So if I try to clip it right now, it's not going to do anything. So I'll create a new group and then put the mask into that group. And now when I clip this layer, it's clipped to the, the mask. Now I believe 
the timeline is messed up so the videos don't line up right. So I'll just go and drag this to the beginning. And now you'll see that we've masked out the background of the video. Now that's pretty nice, but it's kind of boring on a black background. So let's find a background image to put behind the actors. So this is a plugin I found called Free Stock Search 2. You can download it from the plugins panel and browse plugins. And I mean, I wish we had plugins this good in Photopea. You gotta go talk to the guy who makes Photopea plugins and tell him to make plugins that are actually good. So let's just copy this and paste it into the background of our green screen document. And then we can just make make this bigger, cover up the whole background. And yeah, now I have my green screen video keyed out and put on a background. So I'll just make sure this lined up right. All right, and now if we watch it. So the effect did work and we were able to cut out a green screen video in a photo editor. Now, um, the background can be something else, like it can even be a video. So you can really do a lot with this effect. Like Photoshop is actually a capable video editor. Now to export this video, just come over here and press render video. And you can export it as an MP4. But yeah, that's how you cut out green screen videos in Photoshop. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.